Hello everyone. Welcome today. We're going to work with the TheraBand just a little bit. I think it's going to be so much fun. I prepared already. That's my favorite trick. Cool, huh? <laughs> Good. So it doesn't matter with the TheraBand. There are different colors, different resistance. Just choose one which is working for you. So we take the end of the TheraBands and we lie on our back and we place them around the balls of our feet so that there's no chance that this TheraBand can come towards us. Okay, make sure that, that, that you keep them around your foot. Then, we just extend the leg slightly. Please flex your feet. And what I sometimes do, I wrap it once around my hands or according to, your, to the resistance you would like to do. First thing is keep your elbows on the floor and you just bend the arms and extend the arms. You still feel the resistance. If you want, you can exhale, bend, and inhale, release. And it's just to warm up the arms. Just continue with that exercise, and you engage already your deep muscles. So you gently press your lower back into the mat. Just gently. Good. We go for three and two. And one. Good, let's go a little bit. Pulse, pulse, release. Just a little soft pulses. Release only until the moment that the muscle is almost getting soft again. And use the tension. And pulse, pulse. If you feel now it's too much resistance, you can always do less. If you want more, take more. And also again, three, and two, and one. Good, from there, you bend your arms and you lift your chest at the same time, up and down. Good, if you have pain in your neck, make sure that your chin is close enough to your chest bone. I imagine having a tennis ball in between my chin and my, my chest bone. And up and down. I think a good number is three today. Let's go for more three. And two. And last time, keep your chest lifted. And again, only bend and extend your arms, but you only until the moment where you still feel the resistance. And good. Ready again for the little pulse, pulse, release. Here we go. Pulse, pulse, release. And pulse, pulse, release. We continue. And you can also actually do, instead of the TheraBand, you can do weights, also possible. And pulse, pulse, release. We go for last three. Lift your chest, maybe a little higher. And two. And one. Good. And release for one second. P place your upper body down and move your head side to side. <laughs> Just release your neck muscles. Good. From there, bring your legs t to 90 degrees tabletop. And make sure that your feet are flexed and you have a, a good feeling that you're not losing your TheraBand. I wanted to say straps. No, that's for the reformer TheraBand. From here, keep your arms bent and you're only going to extend your legs and bend. So more or less parallel. Your feet can be either closed or slightly open, your choice. But the only thing when you extend your legs make sure that you pull your belly button in or you draw the abdominal wall in to protect your lower back. If you're not sure, bring your lower back slightly in contact with the mat, just a little bit, and keep it there. Because sometimes, sometimes the tendency is here that these abdominal muscles are lifting up and then that's not so good for our lower back. And if you still feel pain in your lower back, you can extend the legs also slightly up. You don't have to bring them parallel to the floor like I do. Good. Last time, 
keep your legs ex extended and we only bend and extend the arms again. This is a nice workout for the arms. And you have to hold your legs there or bring a little bit up and ready for the little pose, pose, release. Here we go. Pose, pose, release. Nice and soft. And draw the abdominal wall in. It's going to be a little spicy here. We continue up, up, and three, and two, and one. Keep the arms bent. Bend your legs for one second. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> it's just for a little pause. And then lift your chest. Keep your chest lifted and extend your legs. And again, you can have a little bit more resistance or less resistance. Your choice. And now the question, is your upper body all the way up at your maximum? Want it to be a challenge for the body, but not a competition or should be overwhelming. Good. Now, keep your legs extended again. Bend and extend the arms. Oh, that's a nice challenge. Maybe I lift. Can you lift your chest a little more? Oh, this is fun. Ready for our little pulses. Here we go. Pulse, pulse, release. And pulse, pulse, release. Pulse, pulse, release. Good. Up. Here we go. Last five. Five, four, three, two, and one. Say there. Keep your arms bent. Just lift your, uh, your legs and lower your legs. Upper body stays lifted. Feel the resistance in your arms. Down and up. Your choice. How low you bring your legs and down and up. And chest is lifted. We go for last three and two and one. Oh, good. Release your arms and your legs and look side to side. Oh. That was great. We did something for our abdominal muscles. Let's do something for our back. Just, it's going to be interesting. Okay. From here, you bring your TheraBand, you have it more or less, um, you take the center of it, go in the all fours position, make sure that you have enough space behind you, and you bring it underneath your glute muscles, like here. So it, it can't go up when we bring resistance to it. So, and then you bring the hands, uh, or you, I always place it around my thumb, and then you go into the all fours position and make sure that it kind of stays there. That's okay if it's just rolling down just a little bit. From here, you're lifting your right arm up and you bring your left leg to the back, and then it moves up underneath your glute muscle. From there, you're going to extend your leg and extend your arm up and up here up good it's just kind of the opposite muscles now so we're not only training the front we're also training the back up and two last time keep your leg up and your arm too hold it and down, release. Let's go to the other side. What I just realized is if you lift your arm too much, the tendency that your theraband is going to come up, try to look for your way that's working for you. So right leg to the back and left arm front. And then we bend the arm. When we extend the arm, you lift your leg. You can either point your foot or flex. And I think the resistance <laughs> keeps the theraband, theraband underneath your glute muscles up. We go for last three, two, and one. Stay there. Pull the abdominal wall in so you have a nice long back. Hold it. Three, two, one, and release. Good. Shake these arms for one little second, and then we have one last exercise, and then we are already done for today. 
So again, we do the same thing. I'm just going to unwrap it, or it's just got ro rolled a little bit, and I go a little diagonal so you can see that. Same thing is you have it here underneath your glute muscles, and then, of course, you bring the resistance. Maybe you have to go a little bit more, or maybe you can also wrap it around your wrist. Make sure that you have more or less same resistance on each side. And then you bring your upper body slightly front, and you sit a little bit back with your pelvis on your heels. And there, just extend and bend. So maybe you can go parallel to the floor with your arms, or up next to your head is your choice, the according to your resistance. Also here, pull your abdominal wall in, and don't forget to breathe. Shoulders stay away from your ears. Oh, and this is fun, it's like an exercise, it's moving what we normally don't do, which is nice, challenging, good. Last five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Release this theraband, shake these arms, shake this upper body just a little bit. And let's do, for the last, last, last exercise, three cat stretch. Round your back and extend, just release your spine around it and extend it. Ending last time around. And here. And come back. Wow, great. That was a challenging workout with the therapist. I hope you had a bit of fun. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye, everyone.